Hi, guess who just woke up? Guess who just had a night of living together 2017? This guy, this super brave teacher, and I cannot wait to tell you all about it. So before I give you a beautiful recap and start getting vulnerable, I feel it coming already. Be ready for it. I want you to like this video. I want you to share this video. I want you to tell people about the Super Brave Teacher and our movement. Yes, we are here to spark bravery. We are here to make it better for all LGBTQ teachers and students. I am here to give them visibility and voice. I am here to give you visibility and voice because we are enough. You are enough. Just being who you are. Just being who you are. So thank you so much. Like it, share it, retweet it. If you're gonna enjoy watching this, share it. Woo! I wouldn't be a super brave teacher if I didn't tell you what to expect. So here's a little flow map of this video. I'm going to give you a quick recap of what happened at the event. Then I'm gonna share five beautiful, I have bazillions, but five beautiful quotes from the night that really impacted me. And finally, I'm gonna share a vulnerable story of the night, something that I didn't expect coming. And I'm still really in it. So the recap, and let me tell you, I'm not going to do it justice. Basically, the event started at 6.30. We were there for three hours. It was nonstop stories after stories after stories and vulnerability and people just really coming together and promising to be brave together, promising to be vulnerable together. I love the promise that said zero bullshit and radical transparency. That was the whole evening. Um, it was, yeah. It was founded by this woman, Jennifer Rudolph Walsh, and she says herself, the Together Tour is the evolution of a collective dream, a fierce intersectional multi-generational gathering where you will hear from badass, earth-shaking, hilarious, authentic storytellers from all across the globe. We promise you'll find yourself inside their stories of heartbreak and triumph. Sprinkled throughout the evening will be exercises geared at helping you to use the breadcrumbs of your own life story to find or hone your purpose and make a plan for real change both for yourself and for our beautiful world. We are so grateful you are here. We need you. This community is a radical vital act of love and transformation during a critical time. As my Together co-founder Glennon Doyle always reminds us, we are the ones we've been waiting for. We hope you will be blown away by the magic we can conjure when we come together. It's time for us to begin. So, so beautiful. From the beginning when Glennon Doyle came out with her wife, her now wife, and they're telling their story of how they met and the story of, once again, zero bullshit and just living an authentic, beautiful life together and what that means. Started the evening off super strong and then they kept interviewing these amazing women with their stories and these women would keep telling their stories and they keep pushing back and challenging and going deeper into these things. They shared videos, they shared um, just tremendous, yeah, what does it look like to love your neighbor? What does it look like to be your, an authentic self? What does it look like to believe the best in yourself and in others? I'm not doing it justice and I don't care because I am so in it and I love it. It, it ended with them just having this conversation about real issues and today and last night they talked about the hashtag me too and what does that mean for them and yeah so the recap is it was awesome and you should go see it or you should look up all this stuff and all these women and get all their books and read their stories because i found out through the whole night they're telling their stories i was like wait i can be a little bit braver i can spark bravery a little bit more because i see them doing it too. And now here are my top five quotes. There are so many and I'm probably gonna do some long quotes, so it's really probably more. Top five quotes from the event. Here we go. Number one, I've stopped asking directions from people to places they've never been. I've stopped asking directions from people to places they've never been. Number two, this quote applies to our kids. This quote applies to all of our loved ones. This quote applies to you. I want to hold your hand again and again through the fire until you realize that you are fireproof. Number three, 
Number three is another paraphrase. I'm so tired of the valleys of life. I want to be on the mountaintop. Well, on the mountaintop, the air is thin. It's hard to breathe and you're always afraid to fall. But in the valleys, in the valley runs the river. Number four, stop asking people what you should do. They don't know. You do. Listen to your internal GPS. Listen to your still small voice. It doesn't matter what you call it. Just call it and listen to it. And number five, relearn your soul's native tongue. What is the most beautiful, most honest story you can imagine? That story, that purpose is not a pipe dream. It is a marching order. Like I said, I was writing down 10 tons more quotes during, during the evening and I could share them with you, but I'm not because I want you to take those that I shared and just ponder them, sit in them. What is the most honest, beautiful story you could tell yourself right now? What, what is calling inside of you right now? Sit in that, that's what I'm doing right now. And I wanna end with my most vulnerable story from the night. It's not a moment that I expected coming. Um, one of the guest speakers was leading us through a guided meditation and we leaned to the end of our chairs and we put our hands, palm up on our knees and we closed our eyes and we were all breathing together. And then we went through different movements and all these things that I've never done before, especially in public. And I noticed my heart closing and I kept telling myself, Joel, keep your heart open. Don't close your heart to these experiences. Don't close your heart to community. Don't close your heart to who you are. And my heart would open again and then I felt it closing again and, and overthinking and I, I kept saying, Joel, don't close your heart to this experience. Don't close your heart to this experience. Just be in this. And towards the end, like, we have our hand on our heart and our hand on someone else's back and we're just all united together in this beautiful moment, a moment that, like I said, I've never done before. I've never exposed myself to anything like that or been willing to. And after it's all done, I find myself sobbing because I realized that not once in my life in public have I ever just closed my eyes and participated in something without opening my eyes and peeking around to see if anyone's watching me, to see if I'm doing it right, to see if I'm okay, if someone's gonna hurt me, all these things that come through my head all the time. I was just in it and it was such a proud moment for me because my heart was open and I was vulnerable and I was living the experience with this collective group of people and I was okay and I get to take that and say, you know what, for those moments you couldn't breathe, Joel, it was scary and you were fine. And you did something brave, which might not be brave to other people, but it was to you and keep doing these things. Keep finding the answers to your questions by living your purpose, Joel. And it was just this beautiful, beautiful moment. So there you have it. It's MEA Friday, so I'm off today, which is perfect because I get to figure out my love story and I get to sit in that and realize that I have been living it. It's not like I just started living yesterday, but I get to be even more present in this and even more brave today in my purpose, which is sparking bravery through radical acceptance, loving kindness, persistent courage, and gratitude. So I wanna end with some gratitude, especially for Glennon Doyle. Glennon Doyle, thank you so much. You mean so much to so many people. And Abby Wambash, like, Wow, thank you for being a warrior, for being brave, for sparking more bravery in all of us. The two of you together are freaking awesome. It means so much to someone like me, an LGBTQ plus teacher who is advocating for teachers and students. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You mean so much. You are enough, you are worthy, you are loved too. I know you share that a lot with other people, but know that for yourself. And if you're watching this video, share it, like it, leave your comments below. If you went to the event and saw me, say hi. If you didn't, leave a comment below. 
You are enough. You are worthy. You are amazing just because you are you. And I'm going to say it to myself too. Joel, you are amazing. You are enough. You are loved just being who you are. That person's awesome. Bye, friends.